We are going to explore the incredible human body and reveal 12 things humans cannot do. Yes, you heard it right. Our bodies have limits, and we're about to dive deep into them. But before we dive into the countdown, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an episode on the wonders of the world around us. And don't forget to leave a comment below about your superpowers to which of these things you can best do. Number 12, touching your elbow with your tongue. It's a common playground myth, but let me tell you, it's just not possible. No matter how hard you try, your tongue is just not long enough to reach that elusive elbow. Give it a go if you don't believe me. The inability to touch your elbow with your tongue is primarily due to anatomical limitations. Firstly, the human tongue is attached to the floor of the mouth by a muscular structure called the frenulum. This attachment restricts the movement and extension of the tongue, making it impossible to reach the elbow, which is located at a considerable distance from the mouth. Also, the length of the average human tongue is generally not long enough to bridge the gap between the length of the mouth and the elbow. It's worth noting that there are rare exceptions where individuals may have an unusually long or flexible tongue due to genetic factors or medical conditions. In such cases, some people may be able to touch their elbow with their tongue, but these instances are extremely rare. Attempting to touch your elbow with your tongue can be a fun challenge to attempt. Just embrace the unique capabilities of the human body and enjoy the wonders it can achieve. Number 11, Wiggle the Ears. Wiggling or moving the ears independently is a fascinating ability that some animals possess, such as certain species of mammals. However, for the majority of humans, voluntarily wiggling the ears independently is a challenging task due to the anatomy and muscle structure of the human ear. However, it's worth mentioning that there are some rare cases where individuals have acquired the ability to voluntarily wiggle their ears to some extent through practice or genetic variations. These individuals may have a slightly greater ability to control certain muscles associated with ear movement. While the majority of humans may not be able to wiggle their ears independently, it's still impossible to observe subtle movements or twitching of the ear in response to certain stimuli or muscle contractions. So, if you find yourself unable to wiggle your ears, don't worry, you're in good company with most of the human population. Number 10, Bend Our Pinky Finger Downwards. Have you ever tried to bend your pinky finger back? Trust me it's impossible. Our joints simply don't allow for such an extreme range of motion. The human hand consists of several bones, joints, tendons, and ligaments that work together to facilitate various movements. Each finger, including the pinky finger, is made up of three phalanges, proximal, middle, and distal, connected by two interphalangeal joints. The interphalangeal joints allow for flexion and extension of the fingers. The flexibility of the pinky finger varies among individuals. Some people may have naturally more flexible or limber joints, allowing them to bend their pinky fingers further than others. However, even those with less flexibility can typically achieve a noticeable downward bend in their pinky finger. It's always advisable to listen to your body and avoid any movements that cause pain or discomfort. So, go ahead and give it a try. Bend your pinky finger downwards and marvel at the intricate movements and capabilities of the human hands. Number 9, Turn Invisible. As much as we would like to possess the power of invisibility, it remains firmly in the realm of science fiction. Sorry, Harry Potter fans. We'll have to rely on our charming personalities instead. The concept of invisibility, the ability to become completely unseen or transparent, is a popular theme in mythology, literature, and popular culture. However, in reality, humans do not possess the natural ability to turn invisible. The human body is composed of solid matter that interacts with light, reflecting or absorbing it in various ways. Our skin, organs, and other tissues are not designed to allow light to pass through them without any interaction. Therefore, even if one were to try to make themselves invisible it's by wearing a special suit or advanced technology. Number 8, Holding Your Breath For 10 Minutes. We start with a seemingly impossible feat, holding your breath is an astonishing 10 minutes. While it's highly unlikely for an average person to hold their breath for such an extended period, some professional freedivers undergo rigorous training to increase their breath-holding capabilities. These divers utilize techniques like diaphragmatic breathing, ling packing, and oxygen conservation methods to push their limits. We challenge you to attempt this and let us know your results in the comments below.
Number 7. Seeing in the dark. Humans are known for their reliance on light to see, but what if we told you there's a way to see in complete darkness? In this experiment, we'll introduce you to a technique that can enhance your night vision, allowing you to navigate through pitch black environments. Prepare to amaze your friends with this extraordinary ability. One method is called dark adaptability, where you expose your eyes to darkness for an extended period to enhance their sensitivity to low light conditions. Number 6, Regrow Lost Limbs. Sort, Spider-Man fans, but we humans can't regenerate limbs like lizards or starfish. Once it's gone, it's gone. So let's be extra careful with those precious fingers and toes. Humans can't regenerate limbs because we cannot produce new stem cells. Stem cells are different types of cells, including muscle cells, bone cells, and nerve cells. There is some research being done on ways to induce human stem cells to regenerate limbs. However, this research is still in its early stages, and it's not clear when or if it will be successful. Number 5, Tickle Yourself. A part of the brain called the cerebellum monitors our movements and can distinguish whether sensations are expected or unexpected. Since it is so trained to predict sensations when an action is caused by your movements. If we attempt to tickle ourselves, the brain prepares itself for it. In short, the brain prevents us from self-tickling. However, some people could do such things. Because of their inability to distinguish self-initiated actions due to neurological changes in the brain, people with schizophrenia can tickle themselves. So while they are aware of their intentions and movements, their brain's inability to notify the person's body about it is impaired, and therefore their brain cannot prepare itself for the tickling. We challenge you to attempt this and let us know your results in the comments below. Number 4, Sneeze with Eyes Open. Most people can't keep their eyes open when they sneeze, except a few people. According to experts, it is the sneeze center of our brain that sends an involuntary reflex to clamp our eyes shut during a sneeze. It happens automatically. One age-old myth claims this is to prevent your eyes from popping out, however, it is the body's way of preventing germs from entering our eyes. We challenge you to attempt this and let us know your results in the comments below. Number 3, Twitch Your Nose. Most people can't twitch their nose unless they have a hemifacial spasm. Even Elizabeth Montgomery, the actress who portrayed Samantha Stevens in Bewitched just moved her lip to make it seem like her nose was twitching when it wasn't. We challenge you to attempt twitching your nose and let us know your results in the comment section below. Number 2, Touch the Tip Tongue to Your Nose and Chin. Most people can't touch their nose and chin with the tip of their tongue, just about 10% of the population can. In medicine, the ability to do this is called the Gorlin sign. The length of the average human tongue is not sufficient to reach from the mouth to the chin or nose. While tongue lengths vary among individuals, it is rare for the tongue to extend far beyond the mouth. Although the tongue is a highly flexible organ, it still has limitations. The tongue's ability to extend, bend, and move in various directions is limited by its muscular structure and the connective tissue that anchors it in place. It's worth noting that there can be individual differences in tongue length, flexibility, and oral cavity structure, which may allow some people to perform these actions to varying degrees. Number 1, Fit Your Fist in Your Mouth. Most people can't put their entire fist in their mouth. Since the human hand is usually a lot bigger than the opening of the mouth. It's worth noting that there may be exceptional cases where individuals possess unusually large mouths or certain medical conditions that affect the jaw's range of motion. And there you have it the 12 incredible things that humans simply cannot do. But fear not because what we can do is appreciate the amazing capabilities we possess. Our bodies are marvels of complex complexity and our minds are capable of incredible feats. So let's celebrate the uniqueness of being human. If you enjoy this video and want to see more fascinating content about the human body and beyond don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And always feel free to leave the comments and suggestions down below. We love hearing from you.